Welcome to our executive interview series at Fed Talks, presented by FedScoop. I'm Brandi Vincent with Scoop News Group, and we're here with Ann Duncan, the CIO at the Department of Energy. Ann, thanks for joining us. It's great to be here. Thanks very much. I want to start by asking you, what would you say has been one of your agency's biggest achievements over the past year in terms of IT modernization? So over the past year, I think one of the amazing, amazing things we've been able to do in terms of IT modernization is really build collaboration across DOE and across the interagency. So if you look at some of the things we've been working on, uh, we've been working on launching our HR modernization effort, which is a department-wide effort with our HR team, with parts of, of DOE outside of HR, with our IT team, and with our finance team. So that's been a great opportunity to develop that collaboration. Similarly, um, we've been working on, uh, as I mentioned earlier today in my talk, our tax programs. And there are 38 different tax programs um, that are part of the bill and IRA funding uh, provisions. And all of those programs require some sort of IT. And so working across DOE with the Office of Policy, with the implementing offices, as well as with IRS to manage these programs. And these are programs we have no experience with federal tax information. And so that's a, a huge change for us to understand how to do those and to quickly implement those programs, which leads us to the enablers for that, which are the low-code platform, we, which is the low-code platform we stood up recently. Um, actually, about two years ago, two and a half years ago, we stood up a low-code platform. We've now got a couple different ones we're using. Um, but the most important thing is we figured out how to deliver on those low-code platforms to be able to quickly get something developed, deployed, and get an ATO for it and get it out in the field. So those are the kinds of things we've been doing the last year that we're pretty excited about. That's awesome. What's one issue that keeps you up at night concerning the government's progress in implementing modern IT solutions? I only get one. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, in terms of, of what keeps me up at night about our ability to modernize is, is, is that I, I'm not convinced we've yet learned the lessons we really need to learn about modernization. Uh, we keep trying to do things the old way. We say we're going to be agile. We say we're going to move fast. We say we're going to modernize. Um, and we do some of it, right? We say we mostly pick uh, software as a service instead of new custom development, but I still see new custom development. I still see people um, implementing new things on premise that should be in the cloud. Not everything should be in the cloud, but there's definitely a lot of stuff that should be. Um, and so we, we really need to, to figure out Number one, how we pay for things, because um, we still don't have the money to do the modernization we need. And we have lots of new unfunded mandates that come in that distract us from the modernization we need to do. And often those involve essentially putting band-aids on our system, add this security, add that security. And we get so focused on new security initiatives, which are important, um, but they don't take out the underlying risk. The underlying risk is that legacy system that needs to be modernized. And so we really need to, to focus on that underlying risk and not simply on compliance. So, um, so we need to continue to, 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 to shift away from these long planning cycles, these long design cycles to be more agile. And we need to focus on, on what needs to do that will minimize our risk uh, and reduce costs. And I think we're still a long way from really being properly focused on those things. Anne, thank you so much for talking to us about IT and the Energy Department. It was my pleasure. Thank you.